Right, oh, so we've made it to Esperance, and the first thing we've come across is the miniature railway line. So we're going to get jump on that. So this is it. So you've got to be between the ages of two and 222. So it's open to everyone, and it's uh, three bucks each, or kids under two were free. So don't know how long it goes. A bit of a track. It goes all the way along there, and then goes around way over the other side there. So. Looking forward to it. Something interesting, something different. We've got like a little private tour, so it's only us out here. But I said, oh mate, is it gonna be big enough to pull my big body? I said, Chuck, make sure you chuck an extra stick of wood in there. So this is steam driven. We've just pulled up at Chapman's Point, so did you bring the thing? No. Uh, so it's a, was it, it's a tourist drive, isn't it? The Great Ocean Drive. Yeah, Great Ocean Drive, so it's 40 kilometres in, in length or duration, and there's about 20 or so, 25 points of interest, so we're just at Chapman's Beach at the moment, so very nice turquoise water, but I'm, I'm, I'm a gambling man and I reckon it's going to get better as we uh, move around. I know, we just popped into uh, Twilight Beach. There's bloody people here. A few of these beaches along here have been pretty windy. This one's not too bad, it's quite sheltered, so. I'd like to go up to that corner up there, those little rock uh, and see what it looks like. Little rock pools. Right, I just said obs. obs uh, what was it called? I can't even remember what it was called. I just looked at the bloody observatory. thing. Observatory. No. Observatory point or something and, and look at it, which is up back up there. So there's a massive bloody staircase to get down to it, to the point. So it's going to be handy going down, but it's not looking forward to it coming back up. And Pen, <laughs> Pen's just sampled a half a box of shapes. <laughs> I definitely won't be able to make it back up. Once I get down. So take your time getting down here because she's bloody steep to get into it. Very steep these stairs. Wow. Yeah, there's not many people doing this one. They're doing the lookout, which seems to be a lot easier. We haven't seen anyone down here. But Tackle the uh, massive incline to get back to the top. Oh, that's a key. Up to the, uh, the lookout part of it now. Quite windy up the top here, but those views are absolutely amazing. How does that? Not even at the top yet. Chips, but I mostly always get. What sort of drink did you get? 
Because uh, they got no premium unleaded for you, they only had bloody yeah. unleaded, which is no good, was it? I like the normal coke of the sugar. And I got a sandy hook. And mum got a cider, sweet rosy. And she's just gone back in now to grab another pale ale, but not a sandy hook, so. Alright, the engine's there. Let's see if the propeller moves. Oh yeah, still moves. Alright, we're aboarding the ship. Oh, we're well, not a ship, a boat. Jeez, it looks pretty good. Declan, you gonna be the captain? Yeah. Oh. oh, what's that? Good. If, if you know what that is, then yeah, let us know. Yeah. Probably like a compass to tell us where we are. That's what the boat looks like. Alright, I'm in a silo. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Pretty wrecked. Once it probably used to carry like wheat, barley, oats, and that. We'll go up to the tractor now and look at that. Here's the tractor. We'll show you around and look at it. It's a tractor. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Alrighty, so we're coming into day two now. We've been at Esperance. Um, we've gotten up nice and early this morning and we're on our way to Wharton Beach. So it's an hour east of Esperance. Is that right? Yeah, about an hour. An hour east of Esperance. Um, we've been told it's yeah a really good beach. It's classed as one of the most iconic and prettiest beaches in Esperance. So yeah, we thought we'd come for a drive out here today. We've got up nice and early and we've packed some lunch. We've more or less packed the, the whole of the kitchen sink of the caravan. <laughs> because we're not too sure how long we'll be out here for. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully it's warm enough so we can get in and have a swim. The kids will love that. And um, yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> Through the drain up before, so I'll chuck some drone photos in. And the water here is like turquoise and it goes light blue, then dark blue. I'm not too sure if you've had to notice that on the camera, but it looks bloody awesome. So we got here probably about half an hour ago, and there wasn't many cars here. And uh, 
now they're all starting to turn up. So we're in this little corner here, it's got this little rock ledge here for the kids, they can swim in around here, and the waves are not as big. If you want to be a big boy, you just go around here a bit further, but... And the water too, very, very nice, it's not... It's not even cold, like, I don't know if you can... See through the water, it's just, it's just clear as. You don't even need to go overseas to get this bloody good water here. You can just bloody come to Esperance in WA and check it out. So, like I said, yeah, the water's quite warm too. It's not even cold. Like it's, you know, normally when you put your foot in, you go, holy jeez, that's cold. It's good. Anyway, I might go and uh, put my swimmers on and jump in, I reckon. Have a good, have a good swim. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i want to do i hope that you're safe and See you soon If I can lay down beside you I would, I would I would I would We talk on the phone Every night Love to hear your voice Sleeping well We just finished up at Wharton Beach, so it was a bloody good, good day. Had a couple of swims, had a feed. Yeah, water was nice. I got plenty of drone footage, plenty of photos, so we'll, I'll let them in there somewhere there. You'll be able to see them now. But yeah, overall, very good day, I suppose. Really good day. Yeah. Well, it's a quarter past three now, so we've been there since 9.30 this yeah, morning. Yeah, early this morning, 9, 9.30 this morning, so. Yeah. I'm just going to go and have a bit of a sticky beak around the, uh, oh, just around the area. There's a caravan park here. We're just going to go over past and have a quick look at that and see what it looks like. But, um, it's pretty expensive from what I've been told. Uh, but well, there's another, there's a little town as you come back here. I can't remember what it's called. Um, they've got a free camp there apparently. So, uh, yeah, we're going, we're going sussy it out on the way back. And, uh, apparently there's a little pub there. Depending on how we're going, we might just quickly fly in there for a, a quick sample of the quality and control. But yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see what happens the rest of the day. Alrighty, so we've just come into town. We need to top up with water because Jeffrey has really long showers. <laughs> so obviously where we're staying. What a load of shit that is. <laughs> Here's your nose just screwing in. So obviously where we're staying is a farm stay 10 k's out of town and we don't have access to water so we have to come in town to Esperance and fill up with water. And it's just at the Tourist Information Centre here and there's a tap at the front where you can pull in and fill up with water. Just got a hundred litre, is it a hundred litre? So it's a hundred and ten litre um, water bladder from Flexi, Flexi Mate. I think they're out of Melbourne, so I think that was about hundred bucks. So it just, it just saves light, lag and bloody jerry cans around. This thing just folds up once I'm finished with it. Lives in here. And then lives in that 
leave that box. So imagine, you know, five bloody jerry cans and get the same thing. Or well, I can just roll it up and put it in there, so. And uh, as Pam said before, it's more like her that has a massive shower. <laughs> well, you can't get her out. She gets in no. there and won't get out. I'm getting better. Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> right, I'll finish filling this up and uh, head back out. Right, uh, we've come for a drive out to uh, Cape Le Grand National Park today, and it's uh, it's put on a good it's put on the good weather for us. So just a, just a perfect day. Um, I think Wharton Beach yesterday was better than here. This this beach is full of seaweed, so I was going to probably look better on a nice sunny day. There's a few people down here set up. There's a couple of crackers having a swim. Yeah, no, definitely uh, a lot cooler than what it was yesterday. I don't know if you can see over the back of those vehicles up there, but it's misty rain starting to pop up, so... I don't think there'll be too much swimming today. We'll just go for a bit of a walk and have a bit of a look around and see what we can find. But... Righto, so we just pulled up. I'm going to tackle the uh, Frenchman's Peak. What do you reckon, Ryan? Yeah, good. We didn't bring the right shoes for this. Alright, uh, so we brought our, our Chinese riding boots. We've got our thongs on and Crocs. So that's it up there. It's a three kilometre round trip, so and it says to allow 1.5 hours. So it's all uphill on the way up and it's all downhill on the way down. So I thought, bugger it, we're here, we're gonna do it, we're not gonna miss it. So we should be able to get some decent views of the whole national park from up there, I'd imagine. But we'll uh, show you when we get there. Right, we made the uh, the first cave. She's a, uh, a good way up of, of booted off the shoes. We are now going Bear Grylls Commando, no shoes. This is the first cave, There's much in here. Any birds? No. Uh, just a cave in here, nothing much to see. Could be, yeah, it could be bats. Uh, we've, uh, we've lost Pen, she's stopped. It's, uh, it's certainly a very steep incline coming up, so. But I wish she made it this far. Making our way down. Low two, low two here, you know, right, Ryan, you've almost tripped over. Yeah. This is the big hill going back down. I think we're going off track a bit here. The views have been unbelievable up here. We just went up to the cave, unbelievable view. Look, everything looks fake. Right, oh, no, so we just made it to the Grand Peak. So we're just having a bit of a look here. We're not going to do any driving on it. So there's a camping area in there. I'm not too sure how much it is to camp in there. But you can drive along this beach. We're not going to do that today. Did our beach driving yesterday at Wharton. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm probably going to ruffle some feathers. I don't. I reckon Wharton was so much better than the last two. Because we had a really good day and the weather was nice, so you kind of know what it would be like here on a nice sunny day. Yeah. But yeah, Wharton is pretty yeah, high up there. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know, I, was, I don't know if it's all the seaweed here or what, but just yeah, Wharton Beach was just so much. I don't know, just it's so much, just felt so much better. And that's just my honest opinion. But probably the day, the time we're here. Maybe if we come when it's hotter. Um, and there's no seaweed up on the beach, but there was no seaweed at Wharton Beach, so... I um, don't know. Changed, changed my mind. Very windy. 
Yeah, it is very windy. It was about 25 or 6 yesterday, and today it's bloody back to 20, so it's uh, very, very chilly. This sand is next level. I have no idea why it's like this, but I've never seen sand like it. Nice and hard, and yeah, it doesn't Did stick to you, yeah. and you can, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've uh, finished our little time in Esperance and we drove today through to Palinyup uh, Nature Reserve so it was about three hours to the west, so towards Albany, so we're heading towards Albany we're going to possibly be in Albany, Albany tomorrow, which I'd say we will be um, we're not too sure where we're going to camp, there's a couple of caravan parks to look at um, I don't think there's any RV parks No, there's nothing like that um, in Albany we have to sit down and do our research this evening to see what's going to be there. There's a couple of uh, farm stays as well, so we could possibly do that. Um, I want to go and do that granite skywalk there at Albany, so um, hopefully I'm feeling a, a hundred times better. That's out at the moment. I've got a bit, of, got the flu in this ear. I can't even hear you out of it at the moment. Because got the man flu. I've got the man flu because <laughs> these, these bananas here. They all get the flu and then I end up getting it because when I get it, I normally don't get it, they normally get it. They just tag team each other. But for some reason, I was lucky uh, to score at this time and it's sort of uh, made me feel a bit shit out. So <laughs> hopefully I'll be better. Maybe a couple of beers and I'll feel a bit better. So so there's not much here. A couple here, couple here at the moment. Is that a barbecue over there? Yeah, it looks to be a barbie over here. A few little spots here, probably enough in here for, I don't know, half a dozen, seven vans maybe. If you're lucky, if you wanted to get nice and close to each other. But this is our little secluded little spot just to the side here. This will do us, so. There's a little bridge down through here. Might go for a bit of a wander in a second, have a bit of a sticky beak, but. That was us today, just another driving day, so. Esperance was really good, so check all the uh, the piggies out that Pam's been putting up there. It's pretty cool, so she's a social media guru. Wharton Beach is next to come.